All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends. Look like we don't have many people here. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, we have 105 people. Ooh. Mm, what is today? Uh, Sunday. People have finished their laundry, and uh, the men, they are doing dishes, you know. I mean... <clears throat> Yeah, so before we start today, we made a video for those who did not watch it. It's uh, supposedly about how to be confident. So if you'd like to watch the video, uh, I will post the link so you can go and watch it. 230. Uh, in my site, it says 105. I think my uh, page is stuck. Uh, I don't know. Uh, things happen, you know. Uh, anyway. And I think, you know what, I think I did log with the wrong internet, but it's not the internet of the neighbors. I hope that will not uh, cause a problem. Uh, let me do this. Uh, I have two, uh, two frequency for my Wi-Fi, and I think I did log in, in the one which is not fast. So I hope that will not cause a problem. All right. Are we still connected? I hope so. Let us see. Uh, do you guys still hear me? Yeah, I switched the other Wi-Fi. <clears throat> All right. Uh, for some reason, I cannot... Something wrong. What's happening? What's happening? Okay. All right. All right. This is the link for those who like to watch the video which we made a few hours ago. It's about how to be confident and how some uh, YouTubers try to fool you with something really silly and stupid and actually can cause you to go in jail if you follow their advices. So watch the video. And uh, sadly, you know, two million people watch the, the video of this guy. Two million people. Two millions, they are seeking confidence in watching video in YouTube. Two million. They are trying to find confidence or confident in themselves by what a guy want to teach you how to be confident in YouTube. That's so easy, man. That's all what we need. A video for six minutes in YouTube and we will be confident for the rest of our life. Yeah, right. <laughs> so watch the video so you can laugh and see how silly some people are. This is the link again if you like to go and watch it. Now we go back to uh, our topic. Our topic is about Hajj. Hajj. What is Hajj? What is that Hajj? What is this? There's a room in a shape of a cube, and then tens of thousands goes around it. Okay. And what will happen exactly if I go around that room? If there is any Muslim here would like to share with us the opportunity of learning, we will be happy. What is behind this cube, which is, if we go around it, what will happen exactly? Anyone? Yeah, we know. We, we walk around it. First of all, it's not healthy to bring tens of thousands of people from around, around the world, and then they go back, and, you know, if one of them, he carry a, a disease, he will spread the disease to everybody. This is the best place to spread diseases. Now, what is the purpose of this cube and why we have to go around it and why this is the house of Allah? Any Muslim knows? About uh, four or five years ago, almost 6,000 people die because people, they step on the top of each other. 
in the news in Saudi Arabia, if you remember, I made a video. In the news, they said 500 people die. 500. And I made a video about it. I said, well, when the Saudi they says 500, that means, say, 2,000, 3,000. And then it turned to be more than five to 6,000. Canadian, it is thank you, my friend, not thank you. <laughs> See, my Arab, my my English is getting improved now. I can teach I can teach Canadian how to say thank you. It's thank you, not thank you. Thank you, my friend. Any Muslim can tell us what's going on. And then we find that your prophet Muhammad he kissed a black stone in the corner of this room. And not only that, he claimed that this stone is the right hand of Allah. And he claimed that whoever embrace the stone, the black stone, and the corner, which in the other side, the Yemeni corner, Allah erase his sin, or the stones erase his sin. Any Muslim would like to tell us what is this? Because to be honest with you, I have a lot of sin, and all what I need to do, I go and kiss the black stone, yummy, yummy, and then I go back like a baby. It's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. We have an ideology. Believe that if you kiss a stone, come to daddy. Come to daddy. Then the person is named the Prince. And he does come with him. Why we Muslim we put the black stone? First of all, I say to him, none of your business. And I'm going to answer you. And I'm sexy and you know it. Brother Zakanak, why you don't answer me, please? I mean, come on. I told you, I told you once at that time, don't call me when I'm having the intimate time with my wife. You're having what? Intimate wine they do with my wife. Okay, well, I don't understand why you are spitting around. Yeah, uh, uh, Zakanak, why the Prophet of Allah he kissed the black stone? And why he go around this room? I mean, what is the point? You know, there is a there is a woman, actually, an old woman. Uh, they found the bottle of whiskey with her when she was going to Hajj. The guy, the police, he says to her, Hey, don't you know it's haram? Why are you bringing whiskey with you here? She said, Son, I'm very old to go around the Kaaba. I drink this, the Kaaba go around me. So is it fair that you bring people who they are 70 and 80 and almost they are dying, and now you want to push them in this crowd, which is very dangerous? Huh? Here we go. What you would do now? Two million people now going around that cube. And if you fell down, even if you are a young man, you are dead. Go right now and search in Google how many people die by stepping on them, stepping literally. Because when you fell down, you cannot stop. That's it. You can. You can't stand up. The crowd behind you, they keep walking, pushing each other like they are going in a circle. You know, and nobody can stop people from walking. So, what is the purpose of this Hajj? And actually, this Hajj is not practical because if only two million a year uh, uh, can do Hajj. That's mean you will you need the three, four, five, seven time lives uh, based on the population of the Muslims to do Hajj. Two million from the Muslims, they say now, they, they, you know, by the way, the Muslims, uh, uh, in the beginning of this year, they say they are 1.4. After two months, they say they are 1.6. After two months, they say they are 1.8. And wait until two months from now, they will say they are 2 billion. I mean, the number is increasing so fast. Unbelievable. Every two months, a billion or two billions. But normal. I mean, it's okay. Now, you have been ever in Bali? One to ten being. I mean, don't you see what we have here? We have a better than Bali. Look at this Bali in the front of us. This is the most beautiful place in the world. The house of Allah. What Bali? You want me to talk to, to now to talk about Bali with those crazy tree, crazy you know, flowers and greenery and uh, 
nice water which is disgusting clean water I mean come on look at this this is so beautiful here all right what belly I feel sorry for you sister sorry I mean you are thinking about belly when you can see this look at this beauty now <clears throat> Hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? already we have a uh, 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 13 dislike which means we have guaranteed 13 Muhammadan How many of you by the way did the uh, did the check the other account uh, By the way, I'm going in a in a trip uh, One of my tooth my, my teeth my tooth one of my teeth um, He uh, I don't know how to explain to you his situation, but his situation is like you know, like you are suddenly like sitting relaxing, and suddenly he put gas there. I mean, like zzz, I mean, so like I'm uh, I'm going to do some maintenance to my uh, tooth and other stuff. I cannot tell you what exactly, uh, uh, but it's not for sure. It's not a plastic surgery like the Prophet Muhammad, you know. <clears throat> uh, Bor Borino, are you visiting Borino? Where is Borino? I had never heard of Borino. You see, I'm very good in geography, but this is the first time I hear about a, about a, is that a country or island or what? Borino. Anyway, anyway, here we go. We have somebody saying, uh, "You ki you kill me, CP." Here we go. The police will come to my house now. There's a guy saying in the chat that he I killed him. Let us see what Ibn Kathir brother he say about this sentences said by Mr. Opa. He said he killed me. And we meant exactly by that. So who is a Muslim I tell us now? Any Muslim I tell us what's happening? Bor Bor Borneo is an Hindu. Okay, guys, I will go there. Just if there is falafel, I will go. There's no falafel, sorry. Just to let you know. Either falafel or hummus. If your island doesn't have falafel or hummus, this is not heaven for me, brother. Do you have virgin there? Do you have any virgin? Beautiful virgin. I like virgin. Even when I go to the store, I buy virgin oil. I go to sleep, I dream about virgin. I wake up, I see no version. And we go back to that topic. Why are you guys taking me out of my... I hate you. Seriously, I hate you all. Actually, not all of you. L let us say... Brother, if you go and see the group who come to the Christian Prince group, they are a bunch of crazy. Other example, one of them, he said to me, and I was witnessing there, you kill me. I am... Look at this. The guy, he just kill him and he come back again and again. What's wrong with you? Obviously, you have a mental issue. Uh, Zakanek, but uh, he was just joking. He says, you kill me by laughing, not he demean it. I know exactly what he meant. And don't tell me, and don't tell me, and you are a Christian, you do not need no You Christian, you say one plus one plus one is equal to one. Uh, what? what? Uh, okay. Okay, you know, Zach and I, you, you win. Absolutely, I win. I always win. And actually, I am the first one who can discover the word win. Uh, what do you mean? As an example, if you go in the Quran, you say, when Allah, he said to Adam. Okay. Okay, do you see the word win? But it's Allah who said that, not you. Exactly. But I am the one who translated to Bangladesh. Ah, uh, Okay. <clears throat> oh boy now anyone want to tell us why Muhammad and why you Muslim do Hajj anyone <coughs> no I don't want the 80,000 boys <laughs> thank you <laughs> that is the last thing I want oh uh, Well, automatic Jannah or automatic uh, hell. I mean, this is this is uh, you know this is not right. Secondly, you know, second, let me show you something. Should I show you something? 
No, no, I should not show you something. I will show you something. You know, uh, we in Middle Eastern, we don't say something. We say sensing. You notice that? That's so very cute. I mean, each time I say it, or people look at me like, so what do you say? Sensing. Okay. What do you want again? Sensing. Oh. I, I did not hear you. It, you know, I get it. Okay. I know you are trying to make me say it again and again. Okay. Something, something, something. Okay. Crazy people. Now, let me show you something. I'm just waiting, by the way, for any Muslim to say I'm going to answer you about the Kaaba about the Hajj you see those videos in front of us or those uh, pictures about the flood around the Kaaba this Kaaba always flooded heavily badly by dirt and sewage remember in Mecca there is no sewage which means the people they uh, they dig a hole next to the house it's like uh, like it's a hole in the ground and they build like blocks and the water go there and usually, if it's too much water filled up, then the poo, poo will start coming out in the street. And you have to bring, like now, because now they have, like, you know, we have cars, etc. You, uh, you bring, like, a big, uh, big truck who have a vacuum machine, and they suck it, and they dump it out of the city. So every, uh, every few days, or let us say every 10 days, you have to call the dump truck so they can suck your dirt from your whole sewage and they dump it out of the city. But look what happened when some rain come in Mecca. Rain in the middle of the desert. I mean, Mecca is in the middle of the desert, and it's not something normal to have rain always. But it happened from time to time. But it doesn't matter when it happened. A flash of flood will happen, and all the dirt and the poo, -poo will go. And as you see, the Kaaba is covered by that. Now, as long as this is the house of Allah, and the one who chose the location is Allah, why Allah he chose the wrong location? Any Muslim knows? I mean, can't Allah he chose like a bit a place like it's like a just uh, you know five meter high? If it's five meter high, that will solve the problem. Only five meter high. From all that place, Allah could not find a place. Imagine you ask the best engineer in the world. Who is the best engineer in the world? Allah. Okay, come on. Allah knows best. Allah create best. Allah have idea. Uh, Allah. So the best engineer in the world, he chose the location for his house in a place where it is always flooded by dirty water. Okay. How we can explain that? Any Muslim? How this happened? Thanks to the American by their help, now the flood is too much eliminated, but still it can happen from time to time. Any Muslim? When the Kaaba built, uh, the, this Kaaba is not, uh, you see, this Kaaba is not the same as the real Kaaba. Let me show you just a hundred years ago how the Kaaba was. Give me a second. All right, look at this. Do you believe it? Is that the same Kaaba we just saw a second ago? No. Is it the same Kaaba? It's appear here? No. Even the stones are different. The building is different. The con it's now they have a concrete. They have a roof. Reef made roof made from concrete. Cover my marble. This is the oil money. This is our money. We buy oil, they fix the Kaaba. This is the Kaaba just a hundred years ago. Look at this. Look at this. You see what oil did? When there was no oil, nobody go to the Hajj.
the caliphate they were stealing the money of people to build the biggest palace in Spain in Damascus in Istanbul you know the Constantinia they took over it and slavery you know uh, uh, women Billy dancing and look the Kaaba 14 centuries and this is the Kaaba and I this is the Kaaba now a hundred years ago this is when we start having cameras you know this is not long time ago well I don't care if the original location moved you know yeah they say the original location moved yeah but I mean look and you will notice here there is columns around it and I believe that this is here before we used to put their idols those columns you know around the Kaaba and women and men they used to walk naked around this room no no the original place is not mm, Petra I know what are you talking about you are talking about uh, the theory that you uh, eh, know I don't think so because there was 26 Kaaba anyway and Petra is not a Kaaba twenty six Kaaba some they say twenty eight it's debatable about how many exactly between say twenty six twenty eight uh, every every tribe they have their own Kaaba and they there is a competition about who can bring more people to come to their Kaaba and what is the purpose did my computer freeze okay What was the purpose of the Kaaba, which Muslims don't want to tell us? It's about money. Well, the you know uh, the cover of the Kaaba. Supposedly, there is an there is every, everything the Islam has. It's a pagan. So supposedly, there is a person who long before Islam, he come with the idea of covering the Kaaba and closing the Kaaba. So since then, they do that. What is the purpose of the Kaaba? How many times Muhammad, the Prophet of Allah, he did Hajj? Any Muslim can tell us? How many times Muslims, your Prophet, he did Hajj? Is it true it's only one? One. The guy, he is born there. He lived 40 years of his life. And then he became a prophet and then all this time until he died over the age of 60 he did only once Hajj why do you remember that Muhammad in the beginning I told you Muhammad is a person just trying to find the religion uh, let us say a religious group can accept him so he came to the Christians they did not accept him he came to the Jews they did not accept him all his life was praying in the direction of Jerusalem and I challenge any Muslim to say this not true and then when he gave up and he came with the chapter of a Toba at the end of his life and he came with the chapter of Ali Umran which is very weird. I mean, shouldn't you speak about uh, Jesus from the beginning? That you reject the teaching of Christianity. So in the beginning, he was not really rejecting. In the beginning, he was trying to be Christian. But the Christian did not accept him. He's a false prophet. So he have no choice except to kill them and to get rid of them. And this is why we see in the Quran, Where Muhammad he said, وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجِسٌ Chapter 29, verse number 28. The non-believers are any clean. Okay. 
and they are not allowed to enter the Kaaba okay now anyone notice something there in the verse let us see who of you is a is a very sharp in thinking who want to tell me there is something something fishy in that verse anyone notice something anyone shirk okay well shirk anyone who don't accept Islam he's a mushrik for Muslims okay now what else there is something very important there here he speak that don't allow the non-muslims to go around the Kaaba and if you fear poverty Allah will reach you did you see it so what is the Kaaba the Kaaba is a source of money it's a business otherwise what the connection I mean this is about God and why uh, why money is coming from the Kaaba what is exactly they are doing there People they come, they spend. Do you know how much money Saudi Arabia make every Hajj now? They take commission from every airline to go in the sky in the airport of Mecca. From for every airplane, they the air, the airline they have to pay commission to the Saudi government for using the space, the airport, and to enter. There's a tax. It's called the holy uh, holy uh, tax service. And then every visitor, he have to prove when he apply for uh, like the visa that he have an enough sufficient money to spend to cover himself for food, etc. So you come and you have to bring with you about six thousand dollars. Let us say between airline and tickets and hotel and nothing will be left and then you buy a gift to your family when you come back come on you have to bring a gift from from mecca this is holy you brother this is holy but but it's made in china okay but it's anyway it's a holy gift from mecca and then all the money stay in saudi arabia it's a big business and look how muhammad here he said from now on no non-muslims can enter the hajj the, the kaaba and if you fear poverty allah will reach you but look what how allah will reach them do you see how let us attack the christian and the jews and force them to pay us money do you see it do you see what the solution was so okay i'm going to stop people from coming to the kaaba but don't worry we will find another source of income you see the verse is after the verse we are not talking about the different chapter here if you fear poverty Allah will reach you okay how fight against those who don't believe in Allah and the last day from who from the Christians and the Jews specifically until what until they pay us Do we have any Muhammadan here? The Kaaba is just a business. It's a market. It's a bazaar. And actually, the one who come with the idea of Hajj is not even Muhammad. Anyone remember who? Who remember who? The one who remember who? I will give you a free one-way ticket to Afghanistan as a gift. Who remember? The Afghani airline, they offer us one airline ticket. To the lucky one, <laughs> one way ticket. Omar, Omar al Khattab. Omar al Khattab is the one who come with the idea of Hajj. I mean, have you ever heard of this such a religion? They say to us that is Allah He wants us to do Hajj, but it is Omar. Look what Omar he says.
Allah agree with me in three states and three cases. Okay, which one? In the case of a station of Ibrahim, which means supposedly the Kaaba, Allah agree with him. Omar is the God. Omar is the prophet. Omar is the one who decide that we should change the direction of a prayer from Jerusalem to Abraham to, 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 to the station of Abraham. Do you see it? Hmm? So this is not a holy place. It's a business. It was just to bring money to the new religion, to the new prophet, because now, and this is why Muhammad, he forced people to do Hajj. Because now you have to do it at least once in your lifetime. Imagine if we make a law, ruin 2 billion human being or 1.5 or 1 billion, says you have to visit Las Vegas once in your lifetime at least. Imagine what will happen to Las Vegas. I don't know how many of you is good in calculation because if we have at just only one one billion and then one in our lifetime we have to go there so the average especially in, in Middle East and the third world country you know people they don't have a good health and etc uh, hospitals doctors etc like healthcare so people they die earlier so the average is like 60 65 so you have 60 to 65 years in your lifetime to go and do Hajj. Okay, so that's mean in 65 years, I will take the time I am just a kid. And now if you are a young youth, they will not even give you a visa. But forget about the visa. Think about it in the time of Muhammad. So... In order to go, you have to be over over the age of like when you are a man, maybe 16, 17. But who can afford it at that, at that age? You know, nobody can afford such a trip. So you spend your life, you became 50, 60, and then you have to go. But what is the opportunity to go? Out of a billion. Right now, if this is will be practice for people be, before they die, that means the Kaaba should host at least at least maybe 15, 20 million every year to do Hajj or to do what they call it Umrah. Umrah, which means like a, a one one time lifetime visit. Hmm? So the Kaaba was the idea of Umar al Khattab, and the Kaaba was exist before Islam, and people they use to worship their idols. This is a pagan practice. Abraham never been there, and there's no proof whatsoever that Abraham he went there. And actually, it's really funny to 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 come with the idea that Abraham he went there. Why he wanna go there? And not only uh, the idea is crazy, even the Muslims, they say that Hajar, the wife of Abraham, came alone first with her kid. Imagine, let us go to the desert of Arabia. By the way, the word Arabia means desert. So desert of Arabia is not correct. But in, in nowadays, you know, Arabia became like a name. All right. <clears throat> so look at this. This is the map in the front of us. So Abraham, let us put the screen. Abraham, according to Muslim, instead of going east from here 
to this area where it's a green or Israel or Lebanon no Abraham he decided to go in the middle of nowhere and cross all this crazy desert just to come to Mecca and build a room but there's no people there and the funny even the Muslim they claim that the Kaaba was built by the angels even before Abraham uh, before before Adam and uh, the angels they did Hajj 40 times before Adam and Adam himself he did Hajj 40 times in during his lifetime and who remember where Adam was just to show you the roots of this cult where Adam was Adam he came from Sri Lanka here they, this is where Allah sent down Adam here you believe it Sri Lanka and look like Adam he was walking over the sea to cross to the other side of the isle all the way to India and then he go all the way uh, you know at that time for sure there's no Pakistan etc go all the way cross uh, India cross uh, Pakistan cross Iran cross Iraq and then he go around to Saudi Arabia and then he go to Mecca and then we find that the one who come with the idea of doing Hajj is not even Muhammad it is Umar ibn al-Khattab three things all Muslims confirm created by Umar what is the three things who remember we mentioned the Kaaba what is the second one three things Allah agree with the Umar look 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 at this and the funny the funny the Muslim they said to us can you make Quran like this Abdul it's full of mistakes it's stupid what are you talking about even the Arab in the time of Muhammad they were making fun of the Quran the hijab which means the burqa wearing the cover is not Islamic it's from oh it's not from Allah it's from Umar you believe it Umar was spying at the wife of Muhammad Sauda when she do poo poo and he make fun of her Oh, Arif Naki, yeah, Sauda. We know, we, know, we recognize you, Sauda. You are doing poo poo. And you know, the, 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 look how rude he is. He go to Muhammad, and this is telling you that Muhammad was a half man. You know what half man mean? Where somebody is literally saying to you, I'm making fun of you, you know, like, look, I'm, I'm even looking at you and, and at the ass of your wife. I just saw your wife naked. And I, you know, I, I make fun of her. And maybe I'm flirting with her. And then Muhammad, he do nothing. And Umar, he says, tell your women, man, cover themselves, man. Tell them to cover themselves, man. Like, it's not his fault. It's his wives. They are showing their bum. And then, because Umar, he kept repeating that, and the hadith confirmed that, and it's not me who's saying that, after more than five, six times, then suddenly, Muhammad, he came with the verse, says, exactly as Omar he said not only he agreed with the idea no 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 he gave Quran exactly as he said you see the hadith in the front of you exactly as he said Any Muslim? Anyone? A brother and sister. Okay. I said it may be he the prophet divorce you all that his Allah Lord will give you him instead of you wives better than you so the verses revealed the same as I had said was revealed you see it the same the same Muhammad he took what Omar said he make a Quran I mean how obvious that this guy is a false prophet 
He just said that Omar Muhammad he take it he make it Quran exactly word by word This is why Muhammad in different hadith He said if there was a prophet to be after me is going to be Omar because he was always copying Omar Until now we did not find any Muslim to tell us what will happen if I go around that cube I want to go there, so you know, I want to. I want to do lose some weight. I'm sitting too much behind the computer, and I need um, some some action, some sport. Any Muslim can tell us what exactly that will do. How God, how God, He require you to go around the room and kissing a stone, and that supposedly will forgive your sin. Explain to us. Even Muhammad, he made it clear that touching the black stone erases your sin. Let us see. Do you see it? Unbelievable. Just touching two stones. Two corners, the black stone and the Yemeni corner, and our sin will be erased. That's um, that's it. Is that how simple it is? Who is a Muslim who tell us how touching stones is going to erase our sin? If you are saying to me you are not pagan. And you claim that other believe, even you call the Christians pagans. No Christian believe if you touch a stone, his sin, the stone will forgive him. Be nice, guys, to Mr. Muhammad Ansari. How are you, Mr. Muhammad Ansari? Welcome, my friend. And don't talk to Muhammad because Muhammad he just touched a stone and he he's sin free. Not like you guys, you are dirty, you are nudges. He is sin free. He touched the stone. He was there and he kissed it. <laughs> Imagine you are going to a place and there is a stone. And then your God, he says to you, kiss it. Kiss it now. And then you say, I, I, God, I, I kiss who? A the stone. What? 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 Why? Because the prophet kiss it. But what? 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 Why the the prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. So what? 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 Why? 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 Why it's holy? Because the prophet kiss it. Uh, oh, 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 and what, what, why the prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. But 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 what 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 why it's holy? Because the prophet kiss it. What's wrong with you? I just give you the answer. Any Muslim want to tell us why touching stones will erase our sin and why your prophet kiss it? Do you guys see my conversation with the with the uh, with the site? It's called Convert uh, Ask Ask a Muslim. Let me see if I if I still have it. I don't know if I still have it or I delete it. Just wait. <clears throat> I went to the website, their website, and I said, "Okay, you know, I have a question for you, Abdul." Assalamu alaikum Abdul. Okay. So we went there. This is the Muslim website. It's called Welcome to Ask a Muslim. This is the name of the website. Hmm. And I said hello. And he said hi. His name is Amran, as you see. Let me zoom a little bit in the chat. 
and then I said to him okay thank you for answering me the the, the chat was a little bit slow you know and I said to him I got some questions about Islam if you don't mind why Muslims kiss the black stone the guy he answer says I believe it because the Prophet once did that <laughs> here we go do you see the text guys because the Prophet did that so we Muslims we could it so I said to him okay are you saying the Prophet was worshiping stone but Muslim did not oh hold on I mean I, I think I, I yeah actually this is yeah after he said that I said to him are you saying that the Prophet was worshiping a stone he said not at all not at all because uh, what uh, uh, kissing something does not mean worshiping worshiping it kissing one child would not mean that child is worshipped but it is a stone not your child so why the prophet kiss it until now we get no answer and then he says even so there could be many reasons <laughs> okay tell me the reason <laughs> uh, respond to check check islam that uh, uh, key key a q a i mean this guy is sending me he's kicking me out even so there could be many reasons visit this website so i said so you have no answer yet the site name ask a muslim <laughs> how embarrassing how embarrassing brother the site name ask a muslim and i ask a very simple question and look what he says we are here to help that does not mean we have all the answer by the way as far uh, as worship is uh, the prophet worship god alone he come to correct distortion people made regard worship allah okay so i said still not answer your worship your worship oh, hold on the text is coming fast okay oh, hold on hold on we missed that okay so you have no answer yet muslim okay so why the prophet is a stone i thought islam is not a pagan cult and then he says to me here stop here let us read it we are here to help but it does not mean we have all the answers by the way as far as worship is uh, concerned that the prophet worship god alone he came to correct distortion of people have made in reg uh, regards to worship of God I said to him still not answer your worship God alone but yet you kiss a stone and then mr. Abdul he said to me go to this website it's an amazing website <laughs> And then he says to me, you seem to be desperate to make a link here. I wonder why. Oh, I'm just trying to find the answer, my friend. As long the answer there, why you do not tell me the answer, which is there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Papa. Okay. So now he said, like I said, kissing a thing does not mean worship it. Hmm. And then I said to him, let us see how long this will be. We you worship God, yet you do not kiss God. That may help your comprehension. Okay. I said to him, so why he kiss it? He like it? Or Allah told him look at this Christian Prince the Abdul now he is getting upset from me uh, and 
I didn't know specific, uh, which means he didn't know that I can answer. Like I said, if this is interest you, uh, 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 life, live, uh, what? I have given you a link to check it out. So you do not kiss God, but you kiss a stone, I said to him. You just want to get rid of me. He's saying to himself, "What? where are these guys coming? So you do not kiss God, but you kiss a stone. So you are a Muslim, yet uh, you are a Muslim, but yet you do not know such a simple answer. You do not know. And then Mr. Amran, he did this. I do not know where you're going. I said, I need the answer, that's all. And then Omran, he blocked me. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da 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 -da. Omran has closed the chat. This is the end of the drama. Ask a Muslim. Ask a Muslim. A Muslim website is made to convert people to Islam, cannot answer such a silly, simple question. Yeah, actually, I felt humiliated when he blocked me. Like, what? Me? No. Unbelievable. I'm wrong. He closed the chat. Like, what? But then I remember the Quran says, or the verse where it says, if they close the chat on you, tell them I hate you. This is Quran. Do you know that the Quran spoke about chat? Let me show you. Okay. You think I'm joking? Okay, here we go. The best of the the best of the of the chat is the chat of Allah. You know what the word hadith mean? Chat. As simple as that. And the Quran is the best of the chat. All of this, all those verses are speaking about chat. All of this to chat, 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 chat. Okay. Hmm. But here Allah says, the best of the chat is the chat of Allah. Look, the Muslim they translate as the best of the statements. <laughs> Well, yeah, when the Muslims, they were fighting over the dunk of the camel of Aisha, supposedly they claimed that the dunk of the camel of Aisha was uh, smells so good. It's like a miracle. I believe them. Actually, me as an Arab, a brother, when I go to the bathroom, <sighs> unbelievable. You know, like once I was in the airport, they call the emergency because some people they faint after I did my business because it's so so was so beautiful like we 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 they thought it's a chemical like, like attack or something it was not I just ate the falafel so by the way this is a true story Sahih al Bukhari Hadith number Ani Abdul You believe me or not, the Muslim they believe that when the Prophet he do poo poo, the ground, the earth, open its mouth and eat the poop, and his poop and his piss smell like musk. I have it in my book. Hmm. This is why they used to drink his uh, his uh, his piss, and they fight over it. No, we don't want to change the topic. Our topic is about the Kaaba. You want me to make the movie now to switch the movie? There's a movie, yeah. There's a movie made by the Muslims about the Muslims fighting over the dunk of the camel of Aisha. I'm serious. There's a movie. Beautiful. The camel did poo-poo. And then, uh, let me see if I can find it. I will not play it here. You can watch it and you are responsible for what will happen next to you. It will convert to us time immediately. I know many people, they watch this movie and after that they convert it to Islam.
the dunk alone will convert you I mean think about it not too much don't think too much just think about it uh, <clears throat> well, Isha, let us see if we can find it I don't remember what was the name really for the the name of the movie. Where we will find this movie now? Okay, let's change. I'm looking. The problem when you search for the camo thing, you will find a lot of videos because uh, uh, there is there is a there is a war. Uh, it's called the the war of the camel, where Aisha she took thousands of Muslims to kill uh, Ali and his followers. Let us see. Until now, I cannot find it. I made a video actually about it before. Well, here the Sheikh actually is speaking about it. Maybe in this video here you can see it. Here, maybe they have it inside this video here. The first one. Baru Jamali Aisha Almisk. The title is. The, the smell of the poo, poo of the camel of Aisha smell like musk. I'm telling you, we, we in the Middle East, we don't smell bad things. I mean, even camels, they do nice poo, -poo beautiful poo, poo Like you want to go for a date or something, just get some uh, camel poo, poo put it in your pocket. I mean, that's it. The girl, she will go crazy for you. She will say like, honey, you smell so good. Why? And you tell her, I cannot tell you the secret. Sorry. <laughs> she say, why? Because it's a city secret. Sorry, <laughs> I cannot tell you. Did you what you said? It says it's a city, 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 city secret, city secret. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a city secret. It's not S H. No, no, it is a city secret. Yeah. <clears throat> now, true story. Any Abdul? <laughs> What's happening here? Literally, we are so dry. Let us see if uh, we can find. Uh, here we go. And find in, inside the video. Here we go. Inside this video, they have they have the movie here. You know, this is the movie. This is the camel of Aisha in the middle. And then when the camel move, uh, he do his dump. And all the crowd, they run to, to fight over his poop. It's not just, it's not an easy to get some. I mean, it's not, don't think just like, a, <laughs> like he's just a, you no, know, because this is a camel, he don't do poop a lot. Especially his poop is a special poop. Let me post the link for, who won the link? Who won the link? Let me get rid of some of you. So you will go watch that video so I can lower the number of people watching. You see, we, we Middle Eastern, we don't like to see many people watching us. Like, you know, each time I go, the, the, the police, they say to me, we are watching you. You are a Middle Eastern, right? I say, yeah, they are watching you. And since then, I have a phobia from watching me. I have 744 people. Oh, boy, 44. Did I say 44? I was in the Philippines. The guy in the bus, he says to me, sir, I have to pay you back 44 pesos. I said, how, how, how much? He said 44 pesos. I never heard the, the the number 44 like this before. So I said to him, say it one more time and keep the money. 
So he said 44. And then he came back to me after like two minutes. He was he started thinking about making money. He says, Sir, do you want me to say it again? I said, No, no, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough, man. 44. <laughs> anyway, I love Filipino people. So uh, this is the video here. I will post the link so I can get rid of some of you. Let us get rid of you. Here we go. Let us see how the number will shrink fast now. Everybody want to watch the Pupu Camel video. I mean, and you have to move to the point, uh, to the moment, uh, 2.12. Two minutes and 12 seconds. Exactly. Specter, why? You, you, you say 44? I'm not making fun of anyone. I like it, actually. I'm not making fun. No, actually, uh, uh, I love I love uh, Filipino people. But this is not all the Philippines. They say that. I was going to a city. It's called Batangas, I think. And then the guy in the bus, he came and he I gave him, uh, you know, he, he should give me change. So he told me, uh, I want to give you back 44 pesos. I was looking at, you know, even Zachary and I cannot do that. Like what? What what you what you did to say? Forty four. You know. And I uh, actually and I told him keep the money. Uh, Forty four pesos is less than a dollar anyway. I mean it's not like a big deal. And you know, I just uh, like a, a tip from me. <laughs> yeah, Filipino people are wonderful people. I love them. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> actually the best place to go and to enjoy. Talking to people is the Philippine, because Filipinos are very polite, very nice, and, you know, I mean, generally speaking, but for sure, like everywhere there's bad and there's good, but we can say maybe 97% of the people, they are amazing and so good. And this is why, really, I love the Philippines. Actually, I will make a video in my other channel about the Philippines, more than one video. What video? This country deserves a lot of videos to speak about it. And Filipino people, they are very special. They are very, very nice, polite, helpful, nice, kind, and you really enjoy their company. <clears throat> and wherever they, you go, they speak to you with respect. It doesn't matter the poor one, the rich one. Actually, the poor I love the poor one more than the rich because I feel more close to them. They are more natural and they are more real. You know, there's nothing fake about them. Additional to that, they are smart, they are educated, uh, you know, I mean, there's many good things about them. The only thing I don't like in, in, in Philippines is like traffic, like in Manila, it's a crazy city, you know. Once we have, I was invited, um, <sighs> I'm trying to remember the name, he's a, he's a senator. Uh, his uh, his sister-in-law, her husband was a mayor, and they are from. Uh, man, I see. I'm forgetting. Hmm. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Subic, 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 Subic. So this guy is senator, and even uh, uh, the son, that his nephew, he went for election for president. Anyway, I was invited by those people, and they have a lot of very very big names waiting for me and let the traffic go let the traffic move you know subic 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 bay yeah they are originally from subic but this is was in manila those people they are originally from subic they are very well known uh, uh family always uh, the um, I, i'm sure the filipinos they knew the name Anyway, so uh, uh, people are waiting and they keep calling me. Are you coming? People are here. They are waiting for you, etc. And we went two hours in advance. Imagine two hours. It's like going from a city to city. Will not take you two hours. We are just inside Manila. Anyway. Do we have any Abdul? When you are going to come to India, Joyce, if you promise me to give me a lot of spice when I come, I will. Okay, how much spice you will give me? 
I want to come home and I have like all the spice of India with me. And uh, you know, I went once to a doctor and I asked him, What is the reason you think I'm still not married? He says, Because you are not spicy. Women these days, they like spicy men. And I thought about it, spicy men, what does that mean? Spicy men. And nothing came to my head except India. So I'm coming, sister. Not spicy mean hot? Really? He was saying to me that? I thought like a different thing. Oh boy. Okay. I'm disappointed now. <clears throat> So who is, uh, where is the Muslims? Nimaz and Ogir al So Soran, do you see any, anyone want to call us Soran? <laughs> Soran is upset. Why we change the topic? Don't you see Soran? The Muslim will not tell us what we would do. We give up. <laughs> we are asking this question since two centuries ago. <laughs> I'm very old, by the way. I was born a long time ago. My friend, do you see how many Muslims are answering? Where is the Muslims? Get us Muslims to answer. Here we go. Not even one Muslim saying anything in the text. Not even in the text. Talk about the art covenant. You mean you mean the 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 ship of Noah? <clears throat> uh, the the story of Noah is exists in the Quran, but the details of the story is totally different from the Bible. As usual, Muhammad, he always added spices from India. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Sure, sure, Joyce. If I'm going, I will let you know, no problem. Yeah, here, if you go to chapter 11, the chapter of Hood, you will see the story of Noah. You can read it, and you will see the story is like uh, he is trying to collect some news from the Bible, but the story is totally different. <clears throat> Any Muslim? But I have a smoke. No, I have my window open, and some of the neighbors look like they have a fire. Maybe uh, the weather outside is very nice. I don't smoke, but I have a very, uh, uh, you know, I'm very sensitive. See, there is something good about me sensitive. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, yeah, <laughs> I cough for any smell. This is why, like, even perfume can cause me to cough. And now you know one of the reasons I don't talk to girls. You meet girls, man, she shower herself with perfume. Like, where are you there? Where is the old days where women, they used to come and they speak to you and they smell like onion? Hmm? Those days is gone. Where women, they used to be real women. Disgusting. Perfume. Anyone? Ahmed is saying to you something. Hold on, hold on. Ahmed is saying something. This is this is something the Muslims they come with. Just to show you how embarrassing to be a Muslim. Ahmed saying, Do you drink the water of Jesus? Do you drink his piss? Well, Ahmed, you see how silly you are, Mr. Ahmed. Well, who told you that water, Jesus have water? And who told you that this is his piss? So Jesus said, the one who drink from my water will never go thirsty. That is his piss, Ahmad? Really? Or you are just being an idiot, a certified one? Now, this is the challenge to Mr. Ahmad. I'm willing to change the topic. If you can prove to me the lie you just said, otherwise you have to admit that you are a liar like your prophet. Is that fair, guys? Either you prove that the Bible teach such a thing, or you admit that you are a liar and certified one. So which one you choose, Ahmed? 
I'm waiting for you. You see, I don't block you. I, I, I believe Muslims, they should uh, express themselves. We believe in the freedom of speech and we give it to Muslims before Christians. Now, it's your opportunity to prove to us the lie you just said. Otherwise, you have to admit that you are a liar like your prophet. Uh, John 4.14. Guys, John 4.14, it says that Jesus said, uh, drink my piss. Uh, you are a liar. You are a certified liar with no shame. Here we go. I'm going to put the verse on the screen and everybody will laugh at you. Here we go. And already I told you what the verse says. But who is ever drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him. Okay. So this is not uh, water <laughs> to drink. <laughs> Because Jesus, he said, I am the life, I am the resurrection. So the water of Jesus, my friend, is not really a water to drink. And you can show us in the whole chapter where anyone, he drank water there. Do you see anyone drunk water? Jesus was walking and he had a bottle of water with him in his hand. He said, he want to drink my water. Same time, Abdul. I mean, how silly and how stupid you are, how shameful to be you. When the verse saying why water, how the water became piss for you. Oh, I forgot you are a Muslim. So if somebody says, drink the water I give you, that means the piss. You are ashamed to your family. When we say something, when we say that your prophet, he ordered Muslim to drink piss, it is piss. He did not say drink water. Shame on you. But they have no shame. They are desperately he they cannot he get offended because somebody says to him why the prophet or told you to kiss to, to drink camera urine. Well, this is what he told you. You're a prophet says drink the camel urine. So you show me a verse from the Bible says Jesus, the one I give him my the water, he will never have you ever heard of a water? If you drink it, you will never go thirsty. What is that water? You can type in Google right now. Interpretation for the verse in John. And everybody will laugh at you. But you are a Muslim, what I can say. That is the best insult to you. You insult yourself by being a Muslim, actually. Look what Muhammad, he said. Muhammad, he did not say, go and drink water. Muhammad, he says, go and drink the urine of the donkey, of the camel. And here the story where Muhammad, he killed and tortured people and he ganged their, gagged their eyes. All right. Do you see it? Here we go. He told them to go to some camels and drink their milk and urine. This is not water. <clears throat> anyway, we will not waste our time with just a kid. Here we go. I will ban you for not being honest. We have no place here for liars. You can say your opinion, but don't fabricate lies. When we say your prophet, he says that, we prove it. You are a liar. Yeah, the Muslim, yeah, the, they, they all in my book, you know, read my books. They drink his piss, they drink even his blood. Even the blood of Muhammad, they drunk it. No, not all Muslims are liars. I don't agree with you. No, not true. Muhammad was the only one who was telling the truth in the world. He's a Muslim. Very honest man. He never lied. And I will show you uh, the, the example. <clears throat> uh, 
especially when it's come to science. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was drinking, sorry, not drinking, I mean, say the word drinking, riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Look at the answer, man. Elegant. Respect. I mean, come on. For sure the prophet, he knew best. He and Allah, they are partners in knowledge. He knew exactly what Allah knows. And Muhammad, you don't mind to say that. I mean, this is alone is a shirk because you are associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. Why you say Allah and Muhammad knows best? You should say Allah knows best. Muhammad is just a man. Then look what he said. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. I mean, this is alone need 44 clap like 44 44 times how the prophet if the prophet is not honest then how you how you can explain to me here the honesty and the knowledge this is true i will give you another honesty about the prophet okay hold on how the prophet he knew this i can explain it to you you can't explain it to me but i can say nothing except its honesty honesty and decency Muhammad is not lying, is not fabricating that he knew. The Messenger of Allah said, The man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child resembles the parents. How he knew that? How he got this? How he got this level of academic biology? Dr. Muhammad. Tell those doctors in America, teach them. What about the Bible speak about the four corners of the earth? Show me. You know, lion of Islam, I will call you a cat of Islam if you cannot prove it. In the same time, I can show you right now the four corners of the earth in the Quran. Now show me where in the Bible. The Bible, this is a, a figure of speech. Until now we use it. The four corners of the earth. But the Bible says, the globe of the earth, the globe. The only book who says, thousands of years ago, the term globe and the earth hang on nothing is the Bible, my friend. While your Quran all over says the earth is a flat. And Allah separated the earth from the sky. We are not separated. You see, the Bible says the earth is hanged on nothing. But we are not really separated from the skies. We are, this is why it's hanged on nothing, because we are in the space. Until now, you will find thousands of books saying the four corners of the earth, four corners of the earth, four corners of the earth that speak about direction. It's a figure of speech. Now, does the Quran speak about the earth is a flat and the four corners of the earth? The Quran does not say four corners. The Quran says the earth is a flat and it have edges. And not only that, you Muslims believe that the earth is in the top of a bowl, in the top of a whale, and the whale in the top of a bowl. Where we can find that, who remember? Let me show you Lion of Islam, who is a cat now. Listen, uh, Lion of Islam. You are, a real, you are a real lion. I respect you, brother. This is your box, not mine. I will put it on the screen. And everybody will see in a second the four corners of the Bible, brother. Allah who can teach us geography read with me Abdul this is the chapter for 50 verse number one Qaf and from his narration in the authority of Ibn Abbas who is Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas is not Ibn Kathir it's not Al-Bukhari this is higher this is the cousin of Muhammad the only one Muhammad he pray and he says may Allah guide him to be the scholar of uh, the scholar for Allah there's no way Allah Prophet, his prayer is not accepted by Allah. No way. 
from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said, it's an azure mountain overlooking this world and the color of the sky take from it. <laughs> so who is the one to speak about corners of the, of the earth? How a mountain comes around the earth unless the earth is a flat and have, and, and have an edge? You tell me. <coughs> Are you there, uh, Lion of Allah? Is that me? Is that my book? I'm fabricating things. Here we go. This is your official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It says here, the Royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute Islamic Amman Jordan, owned by the King of Jordan. And the book is the book of Ibn Abbas. And the Quran is your book. <coughs> Claiming that the earth is surrounded by a mountain which is blue. And this is why the sky is blue. Are you there, Mr. Lion? Where is, what happened to Lion? Uh, lion is covering himself with a blanket now. Lion, he don't want to be a lion no more. Is that four corners or no corners? Maybe it's a round. Maybe it's like a coin. If the earth is like a globe, how we can make a mountain surrounding the earth? Th that is impossible unless the earth is a flat and it's like a, a credit card, you know, in the ground. Hmm? <clears throat> what happened to the lion? He's gone. <laughs> I'm very disappointed from Mr. Lion. And by the way, Lion, maybe you can tell us some stories as long as you are a lion, so you are an expert with the world of animals. Look what happened, brother. According to your Muslims' books and your prophet teaching, that uh, monkeys, they converted to Islam, and they practice Sharia law. Are you there, Mr. Lion? Did you witness really any lions stoning lion female for cheating her husband? Like the monkey, like what the monkeys did, did? Are you there, lion? As long as you are a lion, did you see any female lion cheating her husband and the other lions, they stone her? Like what happened to this uh, chimpanzee? Suppose she's a Muslim. Chip monkeys, they're practicing Sharia law too. You know what? I saw that in the Philippines. I saw some monkeys throwing coconut. And I was wondering, like, why they are throwing coconut at this uh, 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 monkey? Uh, this monkey, she was wearing a skirt. And this is telling me that she is a female. Okay? And she was wearing, like, a, she had a pink, like, a lips, lipstick. And the monkeys, they were throwing uh, coconut. And I was wondering, like, why they are throwing coconut? Why they? And then I remember, this is their rocks. Monkeys, they throw coconut. Monkey, coconut is big, can kill you. Obviously, this uh, this uh, this monkey she committed uh, sexual intercourse with the with the neighbor, Mister uh, uh, Tom Cruise. Hmm? Why each time I say lips stick, people they get I don't know what lips stick. Yeah, the uh, monkey is there. The, she's a female. Hello. <coughs> Any Abdul? I witnessed many times, by the way. I, I mean myself, I witnessed many times. A monkey is practicing Sharia law. This is a true story. This is not a fake. I told you, they don't lie. Everything there is uh, proven to be true. What happened to Mr. Lion? <clears throat> All right. Well, you, as you see, we open our uh, live podcast, and not even one Muslim, he decided to join us in this. How disappointing. Not even one. 
Unbelievable. What we will do now? Not even one. Of what you will do, what we shall do, I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this new channel of mine, which is not really new. I mean, it just uh, but we made it just we, we don't talk there about religion or politics, and soon I will have a trip. So this account, we don't stop debating Islam. I'm just going on a trip to do some maintenance. Uh, so uh, if you want to follow my news, I will post videos in this channel. Quality of Life M27. Quality of Life M27. All right. It is zoom in so you can see that, you know. And this is the link. I will post it for you. So subscribe there if you like to follow my news, and I will I will post videos from people where I am, maybe even if I'm live, if there's internet, which means you will be updated either in Patreon. If you are in Patreon, you can click at the link and see. I will try to post there, but it's better if you subscribe right away in this channel and watch the videos. We made a video. It's called "How to Be Confident in Any Situation." Respond to a very famous video in YouTube. And getting them busted so in that channel there we will get you know I mean we do the same but there we speak about different topic and if we have to get someone busted we get him busted too all right so don't forget to subscribe uh, so you can follow up with us uh, when we are uh, ha 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 you know, the Muhammad, he did not notice that this is can be a chapter in the Quran, the chapter of ha, ha, ha. You just got me something now, an idea. Okay, so don't forget, guys, to subscribe to that channel so you can follow up with my news. And for those who they are in Arabian Prophet, you don't like to go there, no problem. But Arabian Prophet, I will not do some broadcast for some time because I will be abroad. If I can, I will. If not, then this is where you will be, <clears throat> and I will post... Um, I will try to post maybe every day a video in that channel if I can. All right? So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a good time. And as you see, the Muslim, they have no answer. And again, subscribe to both channels and watch our videos so you can stay updated. And I want to say thank you for all those people who support us. And I really appreciate your support. I cannot imagine CP coming to Sarawak what is Sarawak I'm hearing names I never heard before Sarawak what is Sarawak anyone knows what Sarawak is is that something dangerous Sarawak Malaysia ah Malaysia Sarawak okay well I will go to meet Zakir Naik brother <laughs> <laughs> Zakir Naik is waiting for me. What? The, come on! What's wrong with you? you know, I will meet Zakir Naik. We will have some coffee together, and, <coughs> and we will take selfie. I will put my beard next to his beard, and then you have to figure out which one of us is Zakir Naik. The one in the right, brother, or the one in the left, brother? And we will speak exactly the same way. And then it's going to be a problem for you to figure out which one is Dakar Naik. Hey, brother and sister. And Dakar Naik, he will open the video. We will do live streaming together. He will say, I have a friend with me. A friend who called me always. His name is... I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to leave it as for pride. And then we will speak. And then the hard part is to find out which one is Dakar Naik, me or him. Because we look exactly the same. Exactly. The only difference is he's, he's handsome, I'm not. And his beard is growing. My beard is not working. So, guys, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. I will try to do one more podcast tomorrow. 
and if not follow me in this channel from now on until I come back from my travel trip Kabich so for those who they will be saying where is Christian Prince uh, please tell everybody in the chat in the text that he is abroad and he will be back and this channel uh, the Arabian prophet is continuing doing what we do uh, you know but during that time I will not have really the equipment to do live broadcast the same as now I'm not carrying my computers with me I will carry a small tablet etc so it might be not too much convenience to do I will see if I can do it but if not I will keep posting videos in this channel quality of life m uh, uh, so subscribe and follow up with us with this we say may the lord bless you thank you very much for being here and thanks for all the admins who really i appreciate them for their care and the work the hard work they do and i appreciate all of you may the lord bless you all and may the lord protect us from deception from false teaching from false teachers from liars from scammers and from every evil we pray that even the Muslims, they will have a better life and they will find out the truth and the truth will set them free. We pray that the whole world will be peaceful and the whole world will not go into violence. We pray that everyone will knew and should know and should learn that he have no right to take the life of other human being. This is not your business. The one who created him he brought him to life he can take him back so violence is really ugly and evil and we should not promote it against anyone and for sure you know you can defend yourself defending yourself does not make you a violence person unless your defense is a fabrication and it's a lie like as the same Muhammad was defending himself when he attacked the infidels when in fact it's not true so thank you very much may the lord bless you and until we see you again christ is lord islam is false and to learn more about islam feel free to read my books and enjoy them thank you take care